I predict that I'm going to be hearing more and more of this particular scenario from patients as we move forward and as the narrative around the use of hormone replacement changes for women in perimenopause and menopause. So here's the scenario. Um, a woman goes on estrogen or progesterone or both and they feel really good initially and then they feel like the benefits start to wear off or the old symptoms that seem to go away when they first started their hormones have started to come back. This is a common scenario that I've observed over the years, not just with the use of estrogen and progesterone, but I've seen this happen with thyroid hormone. I've seen this happen with supplements. I've seen this happen sometimes with other medications. And it seems like the first tendency is um, that the patient will go back to their doctor and the dosage will be increased. But we need to stop and think about how is that medication exerting its effect. Well, the medication or the supplement, or let's face it, the foods that we eat, we are the benefits are limited by the way we digest, absorb, and eliminate. And when we're talking absorption, I'm not just talking about absorbing uh, through your digestive tract. The foundational absorption is happening at the level of the cell membrane. So if you tend to have good results initially and then those results maybe wear off, we need to step, take a step back and look at what might be a barrier to that medication, that supplement, even that dietary change, what could be impacting its ability to keep working. This is where we can run certain markers of nutritional status, which are proxies for um, other scenarios that could be going on. So that's why I'm a big fan of testing vitamin D. If you're supplementing vitamin D and yet your levels aren't improving, then that tells us things about your health that we may need to dive a bit deeper into. It's not enough to just take the vitamin D and assume that the job is done. Same thing with the omega-6 to 3 testing. That is a proxy for absorption at the level of the cell membrane. If good things can't get in and bad things can't get out of the cells, you could be taking the best supplements in the world or be on a therapeutic dose of hormones or medications and be wondering why potentially they're not working as well as you would expect them. So there's other scenarios that could be playing out, but this is a real foundational great starting point. So if you want more information about that, reach out or grab a copy of my book because I talk about these foundational factors um, in the chapter around supplementation and around the use of hormones.